Hello and welcome back to. What am I saying? Welcome back. This is my first ever <laughs> tutorial video for a real tech fan game. So basically, basically how to map colliders. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna you know help with lag if you already have it. Oh, you have lag in your game. This will help a ton. I don't have any, but I add it anyway just to show you guys. So. You want to create an empty, just like map loader or something. I already have some, don't mind that. So yours just be an empty, all right? Just like that, for example, but that's a plane. And you want to go ahead, right by you doing, make an empty, you want to click plus and then create empty if you're new to Unity. All right, now map loaders, what you want to do, obviously you want to create something. So you want to create a cube, uh, map so you can just name it map loader or something somewhere. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna name it forest. This will just say my life forest. You have no idea what I said. Neither do I. Um, that will just forest will disable my life forest. This will be rising lava. You don't have to name it this at all if you don't want to. If you feel like it, obviously you can. No one's stopping you. So you wanna come to here and here, and you wanna come over here. Now, when this is over here, you want to take both of them like this. Also, one thing to mention: make sure your um your maps have like a like a turn, so like you can't see really that uh, like or that other the map. So when you disable it, they won't see a disabled like nothing there, so it won't look weird. So, and if you have a map, for example, like this, like mine, make sure, shot, figure out a way to fix it. I'm going to try to figure a way out to, you know, fix that too. But if your map is like this, like it takes a turn, like my zero gravity map over there, like I, like I accidentally went to. You've seen it, um, or something like this, where it turns a bit and you can't see the other map. That's good. If it's not fixed. Alright, so, this is what I want to see my, or to, you know, disable my forest. So, Make it however thick you want, and it doesn't matter if it's sticking out like the thing, because you won't be able to see it in game, so it doesn't matter. Now, same thing with this one. I want to click that, so maybe a bit bigger for me, and boom. Now, when you come here, um, right here, there we go. Uh, I don't know, I guess like, right there, that's pretty good. Now, for both of them, you want to enable is trigger, and you want to make a new layer called, I don't know, I guess on layer 19, doesn't matter. Make sure it's spelt like that, non-collidable. Pause to, you know, I don't know, spell it or something. I don't know, people can't spell, you should, can't spell collide, that's kind of weird. Um... So it's trigger. Yep, there you go. And then what you want to do, you want to add and disable script. And you want to add an enable script. Now, on your fours or whatever map is disabling this map, it has to it has to disable this map. For for this one, you actually want to you want to put that map into enable. So when you walk in, it won't disable this map and then you can walk out and get out the map it has to enable it so it won't do anything to that map but it's going to disable rising lava for example that big map and save your lag so you want to disable it and go to rising lava and disable all right and then this one um you want to go here for you're basically swapping it this one you want to actually this one you disable forest and then you want to enable it so when I slide down, the map will be enabled again and they can play. Now, you want to select both of them and you want to go to Mesh Renderer right here. This is all you're going to need. Click this. Now that will disappear. You're not done yet. Click Mesh Renderer and um, you should be pretty much good. If you have any questions, um, please at me in the comments or comment down below and i have everything that i'll answer any questions you have um i'm not good at coding so please don't ask me for any coding tips or anything don't ask me mod on my game be the join the discord for that in the description and for the enable and disable script 
if you don't already have it, it should be in my new Discord. If I make it, if it's not in there, then you gotta find it from somewhere else. Alright. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like. I really need this. And I will be posting, you know, real tech fan game tutorials or whatever. I, I feel like it really. I mean, yeah. Comment down below what I should do next. That's you know, not too hard to do. And yep. See y'all next time in another video. Bye.